I'm going to play a piece by Johann Sebastian Bach for you. Uh, Bach uh, took this instrument that was known as a church bass. Uh, Bach was born in 1685, and uh, so he was eight years old when this was made. And when this cello was 27, Bach decided to take essentially a piece of furniture and write the greatest works for it ever. And uh, so maybe this cello inspired him to do that and or premiered this work around the world for hundreds of years. This is Prelude Number 1 in G Major by Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> cello is shaped like a pear. And uh, on airplanes several years ago, people would always ask me the same question, uh, what, what do you call your cello? So I started calling my cello J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's a good thing, because, because the fact is, is that since it's so robust in the area that I like to call the bass tones, um, it produces a sound unlike all other cellos and is remarkable in that field. Um, so what I'd like to play for you now is uh, in the Bach cello suites, he, he kind of puts together a collage of different dances from around the world. And the dances in that day were glorified line dancing that we see of today, but very, very appropriately so because you were dressed in the garb of, of the day. Uh, <clears throat> one of the movements after the German French dances was the Spanish Sarabande. And the issue with the Sarabande is that it was too slow and too sensual. And so they banned it for almost 80 years to be played in public settings. So that's what I'm going to play for you now, <laughs> because I can. And um, so this is the um, Sarabande to suite number two in D minor. <laughs>
Yeah, the Sarah Bonds are I, really my most favorite because they somehow make kind of time <laughs> stand still. And um, so the sound of the cello is what brings me back to it. And you know, it's really the only instrument that uh, you get to embrace and hug while you play. And what you probably don't know is that obviously when I place the bow to the strings, all the vib vibrations go into the top through the bridge and then it vibrates on the back through the maple back. The, the back is made of maple, uh, which is the, the wood that resonates the most. So it's kind of the spinal cord, spinal column of the cello. And the top is, is uh, spruce, very flexible. But anyway, the back is vibrating so much that it goes into your heart and your chest while you play. And it's not only orally very therapeutic, but physically it feels unbelievable to play. Uh, finally, I'd like to play a piece that um, is probably the cellist's favorite piece to play of Johann Sebastian Bach. It, it really showcases kind of Bach's world as a, as a person composer, as a, a businessman, to showcase and show off. Um, this is prelude number three in C major. Thank you. 